Hey guys, thanks for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. Uh, I'm in the middle of doing my maintenance work with our standard poodle, so our own standard poodle, Rosie, and I had uh, a thought that this would be a really good opportunity to talk about something that comes up a, a lot, a lot in my career and in my past um, with my poodle clients. So this is about trimming around their eyes in between professional grooming visits. I have a lot of poodle clients that ask me, Gina, can you please go ahead and trim uh, a lot closer by my poodle's eyes? Um, and I can, I absolutely can. But the thing is, is poodle groomers are trained to make sure that we leave this rounded curve on a rounded top knot to give the poodle an expression of thoughtfulness and intelligence. So this is what we want to produce for you when you're picking up your poodle after a groom, this amazing thoughtful expression that comes from this kind of a boof, I call it the Elvis. Um, but so we can cut this directly above the eyes, but what happens is this leaves the poodle with a surprised expression. So it's a little bit different than what we want for our poodles. So the only, well, there's really two ways to get around it, is let your groomer go ahead produce the dog and groom the dog, give them a thoughtful expression, and you can either one, go ahead back to the groomer in two, three weeks in between professional grooming visits and have them trim that up if that bothers you, if it's in their eyes, or you can learn to do this at home in between professional grooming visits. So that's what I'm gonna show you today, that with the right equipment and know-how, and obviously a little bit of courage because you're gonna be working around the eyes and a steady hand, um, you can go ahead and definitely do this in between professional grooming visits. Okay, so what will we need for this? Um, I always have my safety scissors. Okay, these are blunt tip scissors, ball tipped. Um, so that's what I use to work around the faces. Um, and that's what we're gonna do to trim around the eyes. I'm gonna show you just a light trim around the eyes to keep them maintained so you don't have to keep running back to your groomer. You're also going to need um, your metal comb. And that's really the basics of what you need. If you wanna go a little farther into it, you can have some thinning shears. But we don't really need that. So we kind of comb and see what we're working with. Again, we want to make sure that we maintain this beautiful, I call it not only the Elvis, like a Russian hat, but basically this roundness that goes in front of their eyes. And it's in all eyes, um, we go ahead and look what's really close to the eye. So I always brush forward first, and then go ahead and take a look at what I'm working with. Now I have my safety scissors handy, and what I'm gonna cut is directly what's above the eyes. And I'm gonna use my fingers to pull forward what is there never approach the scissors directly toward a dog's eyes always away or above okay so i kind of take a look at where i am there's her eye okay i'm going to trim right above the eye i'm going to do the same thing for the other side okay so pull everything that's kind of hanging over the eye you won't see it until you pull it okay and with this again i kind of lift make sure i know where that eye is okay but i don't go too far up this is just directly by the eye, okay? So then I go back to my comb. And I see what's kind of sticking in her eyes, making her not be able to see. So what I do is I wanna go ahead, take my safety scissors again, and do a gentle arc, and you can kind of look at it from the top as well, okay? And just here, just above where we just cut, we want to go ahead and trim, okay? Now, everything that we do, we always check with our comb again. What I like to do is put the face down, blow off any hair that might be by the eyes, okay, and then you floof up, okay? Back to your safety scissors. And you just want to maintain this. You don't have to worry about the dome and the curved top knot unless you want to go a little more advanced, and we'll do um, more videos about that. But this is just so that you can maintain your poodle, still give them that character that we want in between professional grooming visits, okay? So that it's not gonna be too surprising and too tight, but has a little bit of a gentle curve, but everything around the eyes is cleared up, okay? So that gives them a little more time in between professional grooming visits. Okay guys, well that's about it. That's the basics. So definitely have the courage to try to do this at home um, and make sure that your dog can see in between professional grooming visits. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to click that thumbs up. We really appreciate it. If you like videos like this and wanna see more, subscribe to our channel. We would definitely appreciate your time. We will see you next time. Bye.